All right, guys, we have a lot to talk about. Let's get into it. This video right here is going to be focused on a little bit of what's happening inside the blockchain, uh, the XRP ledger. Let's see what's next for DeFi. And I think this is going to open up a brand new world to DeFi that not many people understand. You really have to have deep knowledge on market infrastructure and markets in general to understand what's happening right now on the XRP ledger uh, out of everything, right? So let's get into this. My name is Andrew. Thank you for being here with me. This right here is my Twitter profile where I post some of my research. If you guys want to go follow me there, um, this is a in-depth study session. Thank you for being here. Go ahead and get out your paper and pen and let's get into this. You're going to want to take notes because this is some important stuff right here for the future of markets and the future of market making. So let's get right into it. A lot going on in the XRPL ecosystem. We just had the XRPL uh, get connected to MetaMask. Absolutely fantastic. Pierce's technology. Uh, we're excited to announce the launch of the XRPL Ledger Snap for MetaMask. Today, 30 million monthly active users of MetaMask are now just one click away from having an account on the XRP Unveiling Ledger. Un Absolutely fantastic to see this. This is going to bring a lot of liquidity into this ecosystem as MetaMask, one of the leading wallets in the space for DeFi enthusiasts. And on top of that, the XRP Ledger has had an explosion of DeFi, of meme trading, of all types of velocity and volume coming to the network. And then, you know, this is really getting that retail adoption along with institutional adoption. And we've heard David Schwartz say that this is the secret recipe to how the internet got adopted. You had the really big enterprise and uh, uh, institutional use case, and then you had the retail use cases. And not just one thing brought everybody to the internet. It was because everything was there, right? On the XRP ledger, you're going to want to, you're going to want memes. You're want, you're going to want GameFi. You're going to want great side uh, side chains with with all kinds of things, right? And so this is bringing all of it together. As we see, MetaMask failing the first partnering. XRPL MetaMask snap. The power of the XRP ledger meets the versatility of MetaMask. A snap allows non-EVM networks to seamlessly integrate with your MetaMask wallet. Now, with our XRPL snap, you can bring the XRP ledger one of the world's top trusted blockchains, directly to MetaMask, the gold standard of non-custodial wallets. So what this is going to do is it's going to make it so much more easier for when these DeFi enthusiasts are scrolling through data websites like DeFi Llama, looking for the next DeFi opportunity. They're seeing the spikes of volume on the XRP ledger, but then it's like, oh, now I got to go create a new wallet. I got to do this, this and that. Well, not anymore. They can really do this now with their MetaMask because they're using MetaMask for the large majority of their DeFi, especially uh, the Ethereum DeFi is a large majority of what's going on on here. You see here, Santiment XRP Ledger has spiked an active wallet, significantly reaching 35,799 unique wallets, making it at least one transfer, uh, making at least one transfer in a day, the highest in over three months. Additionally, 3,858 new wallets were created in a single day, the highest amount, in, highest amount in over seven months, as you see that massive spike of wallets. Also, MoonPay in the building, partnership with Ripple for RLUSD. If you love XRP, like this post, I'll give you a follow back. They did. They followed me back. Absolutely beautiful to see Ripple hosting the Hong Kong Poli Policy Summit in 2024. The perfect opportunity to stay at the forefront. XRP drops. Chad Steingraber, two great researchers in our community. RippleX, Medico, Fubon Bank, Hong Kong Monetary Policy 2023. And now Ripple is the host coming on today. Now, awesome. Now, some other stuff from some other researchers. HBAR, Linux, moving bigger than you think. This move is bigger than you think. The Hyro distributed ledger technology software. This is a database for open source software to come together and uh, just share with each other. And so Hedera joining with the Linux Foundation, absolutely massive. Uh, dude, this cannot be understated. I actually say go follow Tokenizer. Make sure you look into Hyro uh, with the HBAR Foundation. HBAR, one of my top convictions. Uh, if you're a part of the group, you've seen the top conviction list. You've seen my portfolio. You've seen where I have large amounts of capital allocated to uh, HBAR. I'm not, uh, I'm not um, 
a stranger when it comes to H bar. You see a Censure, DTCC, Hedera, Hitachi down here. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, we got some good stuff coming from DAG. Um, dude, it's just uh, so much amazing things going on, but let's get into some of the research that I put together. I went and uh, I had to go re-break down uh, Jazzy Cooper's latest um, interview on an X space with Axelar. Ton was in the building. See Jazzy Cooper here talking with Axelar. Ripple's head of product, Jasmine Cooper, giving comments about the roadmap for the XRP ledger and the EVM sidechain in a recent Axelar X space. The key points mentioned were real world asset tokenization, EVM smart contracts, and a partnership with a development company to build a lending protocol that will be accessible from the XRPL mainnet. So the DeFi on the XRP ledger is exploding. This is what we've been waiting for. The MetaMask wallet in place, Ripple's roadmap in place, the Ripple payments software getting attraction, uh, getting attention, the stablecoin taking off, and then constantly not forgetting they keep driving home that the core of this entire business case is the utilization of the XRP token itself, giving that much needed utility to the blockchain, a massive enterprise use case, which is cross-border payments and remittances. We see the XRP ledger ecosystem expanding out massively as all of these pieces are finally coming together and the original investors are the, about to be the ones that are going to make the money here. The key points mentioned, real world asset tokenization, EVM smart contracts and a partnership with a development company to build a lending protocol that will be accessible from the XRPL main net. I would like to point out here on the topic of real world assets, she mentions what's next, meaning like after you tokenize a token on the chain, you know, what next, right? You got the token on the chain. It's a big thing. RWA is a massive narrative, but then what, right? What are, what are you going to do next? The class. Uh, and, anyway, uh, that's this is going to lead me to my next post. So be all ears right here. This is where you're going to want to take notes. Reliable, secure, efficient, uh, you know, in a way that institutions will will require in order to bring their business and uh, more importantly, their customers on chain. So that's where we're looking really closely, you know, starting with tokenization of how can you not only represent crypto native assets very well, whether they're from um, you know, one chain or another, but also uh, real world assets and ensuring that there's token standards that support these assets well um, and also can be, you know, very easily accessed with a simple API call as opposed to having to build your own smart contracts from scratch, which really lowers the barriers for uh, Web2 developers, TradFi developers uh, as well. But, you know, once you tokenize that asset, what do you do next? And that's where uh, XRPL really shines, which is payments, trading, value transfer. Um, so we're very excited to, you know, team up with Axelar and um, not only allow real world assets to, to come and go and access different, different chains, but also to access, you know, the, the you know, highly robust order book uh, exchange on XRPL um, and, and vice versa. We'll be tapping into smart contracts on the EVM sidechain that, that we're launching as well. So you know, we've partnered with a, a lending pr protocol recently that's built uh, on the EVM sidechain that's in dev right now. Um, and that will be fully accessible from XRPL mainnet. So you in class. Absolutely fantastic. Jasmine Cooper, absolute rock star. I have to say that every time she talks. Um, and so we're going to get into what next, right? The what next here. And it's important to understand that tokenized assets have many different use cases on blockchain. What makes it cool is that you can do more with the real world asset on blockchain than you can do just in the real world. That is the use case, right? Being able to use it for multiple different things versus just the one thing, right? We're going to listen to David Schwartz talk about this. This is from earlier this year. It's been about, what, five months? No, it's been about four months since, since consensus. So this is about four months ago. But Ripple XRP hybrid DeFi is the term I'll use here, right? the ability to tokenize contractual agreements from the real world, then bringing them on chain to provide yet another yield generating business case for real world assets. In my last post, we discussed Jasmine Cooper talking about what next when an enterprise tokenizes a real world asset, then what 
what are the business cases for tokens on a blockchain besides being able to just trade them around, right? And have efficient, right? That blockchain brings efficiency. It brings debt to market, it brings aggregated liquidity. So it makes markets more efficient, but what are you able to do that takes it even further, right? Well, this is it. Hybrid DeFi opening up new use cases and hidden alpha. The idea here is that the enterprise who issued the loan to the end con consumer will tokenize the loan contract on chain and then offer it up as an investable yield bearing instrument, right? What happens then? So if someone needs a loan, an enterprise gives them a loan, and then that enterprise takes that loan contract, tokenizes it on the blockchain and offers it to DeFi guys. The DeFi guys can buy the token, paying the basically giving the the, the lender the money up front, making their contract liquid. And then you're getting the yield on the back end, possibly some kind of deal within the token where you're splitting the yield, but you're making uh, you're giving the lender a lot more efficiency with their ability to give more loans. So this is going to open up a massive liquidity uh, use case for lenders of all kinds. This is literally going to open up secondary markets for TradFi, right? Whether that's a home loan, HELOC loans, auto loans, all kinds of loans, all kinds of derivatives uh, are going to be built right now. And the XRP ledger is going to be the marketplace that you want to bring your tokenized derivative, right? If you are a central bank or you're a, a, a an inter, just a enterprise in general that deals with any type of uh, rent paying, lease paying, you're going to be able to tokenize, you're going to be able to bring it on chain and you're going to be able to make market your market more efficient, more liquid. So let's hear David Schwartz talk about it. The interesting enterprise use case is like a normal loan, like a guy wants to buy a house or build a business or, or whatever, right? And for that to work, there has to be credit worthiness. There has to be some entity who can sue the person if they don't pay back. But what we could, what we could also do is we could have a DeFi side where there's tokens that represent claims against those loans and people get paid back as those payments go in. And so if somebody doesn't make a payment back, there's a centralized operator who sues them in a known jurisdiction but they put the money into a DeFi system that then distributes it. And if they fail to do that, the, the holders of the liquidity tokens could sue them. Yeah. So it's an interesting hybrid where you have this heavily regulated, what's what, like loans are heavily regulated. These would be like commercial loans or real estate loans are heavily regulated. They're traditional loans, except they're tokenized in this like Wild West DeFi system where they might be traded on a DEX or, you know, or the interesting enterprise use case is like a normal. That's massive, guys. Markets markets in general right now, whether it be Amazon, eBay, stock market, bond market, whatever it is. The cool thing about eBay is it gave way for a secondary market, right? There was already a market for things that people buy and sell at the store, but then you have like collector's item markets. eBay opened up a brand new world, e-commerce, and it took a little while, right? Remember eBay first starting up and it, and it got eventually caught traction. And now you can go buy ultra rare things on eBay. You can buy whatever you want on eBay. eBay has it, right? So it made a secondary market. It makes it made new markets pop up that did not exist in the beginning, right? Like you could literally go through Walmart right now, go to the clearance aisle, find something on clearance that's in clear on clearance in your Walmart, but not on clearance at other Walmarts. Look it up online, see the price it's going for, buy the clearance item, take the clearance tag off, post it on eBay and make a profit. So that is an arbitrage, right? And people do that all the time. That's called a secondary market. The XRP ledger is now going to be a secondary market for traditional financial players, right? This is going to open up new areas of liquidity, operational capital for corporates, large institutions, enterprises, the world around. This is massive. It's massive. Now is the time to understand what DeFi is, okay? Now's the time to get educated. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to make a course, etc. I've done it. Some of you guys were not able to join the group because there's something going on with the app. So I got you. I know you want to become a career investor and learn DeFi. 
I made a new community. I have two communities now. They're the same exact thing, just on different platforms. So if you couldn't join the original one, now we have one on school, okay? Um, and just, I'm gonna have a link in the bio. The classroom tab is gonna have all of these different courses from you, from Blockchain Basics to the DeFi Academy, building portfolio, my portfolio. I'm gonna show you everything, my entries and exits. We're going over in-depth in DeFi and trading. We're going over it all, deep study sessions, group meeting recordings, high level panels, equity investing, macroeconomics, all of it. The big one here is my portfolio, the portfolio building tab and the DeFi Academy that is going to take you to your next level. It's going to bring you from hobbyist to career investor. That's what we're all about here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, the links are down below uh, to join the new uh, community. There's only one other guy in there, so come in introduce yourself we'd love to have you in there and let's get this done now is the time right before the bull run i know you feel the hype building on the xrp ledger it's getting absolutely phenomenal out there go follow me on x whatever you want to do i'm out there instagram x TikTok, youtube all of it follow me like the videos xrp ledger the next stuff the meme explosion, the DeFi explosion, the payments explosion, the network effect, the literal bridge asset. I'll see you guys on the next video.